Imagine you're driving down a busy highway, music playing softly, the sky a little cloudy. Suddenly, the car in front of you slams on its brakes. You barely have time to think, let alone react. But your car? It already has. Before your foot even touches the brake pedal, your vehicle has started slowing down automatically. Ever wonder how that's possible? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of emergency braking systems, how they work, how they react so fast, and why they've become such an essential safety feature in modern vehicles, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand how emergency braking systems operate, we need to look at the technology behind them. Modern cars come equipped with a network of sensors, cameras, and radar systems designed to constantly monitor your surroundings. These systems are always alert, even if you're momentarily distracted or simply can't see what's up ahead. These sensors, especially the forward-facing radar and cameras typically mounted near the rearview mirror or on the front grille, scan the road in real time. They're constantly analyzing the distance between your car and any objects ahead, the speed at which you're traveling, and how fast those objects are moving. If the system detects that the distance is closing too quickly, meaning there's a high chance of collision, it springs into action. What makes these systems so incredibly fast is that they're not relying on human reflexes. Let's be honest. Humans, as amazing as we are, have limits. On average, it takes about 1.5 seconds to perceive a hazard and react. That may not sound like much, but at highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a basketball court. In that time, a lot can go wrong. That's where emergency braking systems come in. They react in milliseconds. When a potential collision is detected, the system goes through a series of split-second steps. First, it sends an alert, usually a flashing warning on the dashboard and a loud beep or vibration. This is to give you a heads up, just in case you haven't noticed the danger yet. If you do hit the brakes yourself, the system doesn't just back off. In many cases, it actually assists you by applying maximum braking force if it detects that you haven't pressed hard enough. This is known as brake assist. But what if you don't react at all? Maybe you're distracted, or maybe the danger just comes out of nowhere. That's when the system takes full control. It automatically applies the brakes for you, attempting to either avoid the collision completely or at least reduce the impact. This process is known as Autonomous Emergency Braking, or AEB. It's an advanced form of driver assistance that has proven incredibly effective in reducing accidents. In fact, according to several studies, AEB can cut rear-end collisions by as much as 50%. That's not just a small improvement, that's life-saving. So, how does it physically apply the brakes without your input? Modern vehicles use electronically controlled braking systems. When the AEB system determines that emergency braking is needed, it sends an electronic signal to the braking module. This module then activates the hydraulic system, pressing the brake pads against the rotors, slowing the car down, just like it would if you stepped on the pedal yourself. The key here is speed. These systems are pre-programmed with algorithms that can process sensor data in real time. They compare constantly changing variables like speed, distance, and acceleration to a massive set of scenarios. When a match is found, say you're approaching a stopped car way too quickly, it instantly decides on the best course of action. In some newer vehicles, especially those with Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, ADAS, emergency braking is even smarter. 
These cars can distinguish between vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists, and even large animals. For instance, if a child darts into the street chasing a ball, the system can recognize the shape and movement pattern, calculate the collision risk, and brake, sometimes faster than any human could. You might be wondering, what happens in bad weather or if the sensors are dirty or obstructed? That's a valid concern. While today's systems are remarkably reliable, they're not perfect. Rain, snow, fog, or mud can interfere with sensors. That's why most AEB systems are designed to work best in conjunction with a fully alert driver. They're not meant to replace your attention. They're there as a safety net. It's also worth mentioning that emergency braking technology is constantly evolving. Some high-end cars now incorporate LiDAR, light detection, and ranging sensors that offer even more precise data than traditional radar or cameras. LiDAR can create a 3D map of the environment around your car, making it even better at detecting obstacles, especially in low-light conditions. What's truly amazing is how all of this happens so seamlessly. You don't feel a robotic hand take over the wheel. You don't see gears turning or wires moving. Instead, you might just feel a sudden jolt, your car stopping short, the seatbelt tightening across your chest, and then nothing happened. The accident was avoided. The system did its job. Emergency braking systems are one of those innovations that highlight the incredible marriage between software and hardware in the automotive world. It's not just about machines acting faster than people. It's about giving humans a second chance when seconds matter most. And let's not forget the peace of mind it provides. Knowing that your car has your back in an emergency changes the way you drive. You may still be cautious, attentive, and responsible, but there's a layer of security that wasn't there a decade ago. Parents feel safer with their teens behind the wheel. Older drivers benefit from the added safety net. Even the most skilled drivers can appreciate the backup. Interestingly, many countries have started making AEB a required feature in all new cars. That shows just how effective and essential this technology has become. As these systems become more widespread, we can expect road fatalities and injuries to decrease dramatically. It's a quiet revolution, but a powerful one. So, the next time you're in your car and it suddenly breaks for you, don't panic. It's not a glitch. It's the result of years of innovation, engineering, and safety research working in harmony. Your car is looking out for you, even when you don't realize it needs to. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.